Tonight, Zuckerberg has Obama on speed dial, Amazon eyes their own delivery trucks, and how soon Facebook will roll out video ads. Tech News Tonight is next. This is Twit. This is Tech News Tonight, episode 43, for Thursday, March 13th, 2014. This episode of Tech News Tonight is brought to you by 99designs, which connects businesses seeking quality, affordable designs with a community of more than 280,000 graphic designers. Visit 99designs.com slash TN2 to receive a free power pack upgrade valued at $99. I'm Sarah Lane, and let's get right to the tech feed. The National Security Agency has released a response to allegations that it used bogus Facebook servers to infect computers with malware in order to spy on people, saying the reports are inaccurate and that, quote, the NSA uses its technical capabilities only to support lawful and appropriate foreign intelligence operations, all of which must be carried out in strict accordance with its authorities. Technical capability must be understood within the legal, policy, and operational context within which the capability must be employed. Well, in related news, this afternoon, Mark Zuckerberg took to his own Facebook page to express his frustration over what he calls damage created by the U.S. government and said he'd called President Obama to talk about it. Zuckerberg said he'd been confused and frustrated by the repeated reports of the behavior of the government and that, quote, when our engineers work tirelessly to improve security, we imagine we're protecting you against criminals, not our own government. The U.S. government should be the champion for the Internet, not a threat. They need to be much more transparent about what they're doing or otherwise people will believe the worst. Amazon is revamping its delivery network to better control its fulfillment infrastructure and gain control over rising transportation costs, according to James Tompkins, a supply chain consultant with close ties to Amazon. The company has reportedly divided the U.S. into three segments based on population. The top 40 markets will be served by a private fleet built by Amazon and dubbed Amazon Fresh. The next 60 largest population areas will be served by regional parcel delivery characters and carriers, and the remaining areas will be served by the U.S. Postal Service. UPS and FedEx are both said to not play a prominent role in the new network realignment. Tompkins said that he's not aware of Amazon's timeline for this rollup, but that, quote, they are moving on this very aggressively. Speaking of rising prices, Amazon Prime, which offers unlimited two-day shipping and other perks for $79 per year, is increasing to $99. Prime memberships renewing after April 17th will be shifted to the higher annual fee, and new Prime memberships will pay $99 per year starting on March 20th. So hint, hint, you've got about a week. Amazon told investors back in January that it might raise the price of Prime between $20 and $40 per year due to, quote, the increased cost of fuel and transportation as well as the increased usage among Prime members. One company not raising prices is Google. The company announced it's lowered the price for the 100 gigabyte Google Drive storage plan from $4.99 to $1.99 and the 1 terabyte tier from $49.99 to $9.99. By comparison, Dropbox charges $9.99 per month or $99 per year for 100 gigabytes and $49.99 per month or $499 per year for 500 gigabytes. So that Google Drive storage deal is looking pretty good. In other cloud news, anonymous sources tell 9to5Mac that Apple is developing versions of its OS X preview and text edit apps for iOS and built to serve as tools to view preview and text edit files stored in iCloud by OS X. The company also is said to be researching new iCloud storage tools to make the development of server-integrated App Store applications for iOS simpler. We're going to round out today's cloud news with Microsoft's just announced Office 365 Personal, a new subscription-based productivity suite in the cloud limited to a single PC or Mac and a single tablet. Office 365 Personal will be available this spring for $69.99 per year or $6.99 per month. Coming up, Google changes the design of their search results page. The results may surprise you. And next, Anthony Ha from TechCrunch is here to talk about Facebook's autoplaying video ads. But first, let's take a moment to thank 99designs 
for connecting all types of people looking for great graphic design. Whether you need a new logo, a mobile app, a business card, a t-shirt, or any other kind of graphic design, you'll find the right designer for your project at 99designs. You just tell them what you need and dozens of designers from the community start submitting designs created just for you. Give them some feedback, help them refine their designs, and then you select and pay for the one you like the best. Start your next graphic design project for as low as $199. Visit 99designs.com slash TN2 and get a $99 power pack of services for free. A power pack gives you more designer time, more attention. 99designs will feature your design in their marketplace and you'll get nearly twice as many designs. That's 99designs.com slash TN2 and we thank them for their support of Tech News Tonight. All right, joining us now is Anthony Ha, a writer at TechCrunch. Hello, Anthony. Hi, Sarah. How's it going? It's going very well. All right, so you've got an article up on TechCrunch today called Facebook Launches It's 15-Second Autoplane Video Ads. They've been testing this since last fall. Why did it take so long? Uh, I think they basically uh, want to make sure that it's not something that's going to be incredibly intrusive and make a lot of people angry. I mean... Any ad additional advertising is probably going to make some people annoyed, but I think they really wanted to, given that it's going to be something that's pretty aggressive, I think they wanted to make sure that, you know, they were as comfortable with it as they could be. Okay, so what are we going to see now when I've, I've got a video ad in my news feed? How is Facebook going to ensure that I'm not annoyed or distracted? <laughs> I think, well, first of all, it's, it's going to be silent until you actually tap on it. Um, and then it'll fill up the whole screen. Um, so at least you don't, you know, the auto sound is, is usually the worst thing, at least in my opinion. Um, and, uh, and I think the, the other thing they're doing is they're actually testing out all the ads that go in initially um, on the system called Ace Metrics. And, you know, the, the quality of the ads is supposed to be, you know, pretty high. So, you know, at least it won't be like just completely random stuff. Yeah, they're calling them premium video ads and, and, and definitely stressing that these are high quality ads that at least should be well-produced. Do we have any idea of what advertisers are going to pay to have auto-playing ads on Facebook? Uh, I haven't seen anything about that yet. Um, I mean, I imagine they're going to be a lot more expensive than pretty much any other ad on Facebook, but uh, I don't know the exact price. Well, who are these advertisers? Facebook says, at least at the beginning, they're they're working with a limited group of advertising partnerships. I right. mean, are they, are they the big guys? Is this Coca-Cola, Ford? Who are, who are they? Uh, again, I, as far as I know, they haven't said who it is, but I think it's, I think it's probably safe to assume it's going to be like the really, you know, the, the names that, that people are going to have heard of, not the sort of small businesses um, initially and, you know, maybe in a year or so that, that will have changed. You mentioned that sound is one of the worst parts of autoplaying ads. It's certainly something that Facebook, uh, which owns Instagram, has been working on with Instagram. It works the same way. You've got to you've got to click on an Instagram video to hear it. Otherwise, you just see it autoplay without any sound. And Facebook executives have said introducing more ads into the newsfeed has a quote limited or negligible impact on user engagement. Do you think that's true? I uh, I mean. I think they wouldn't say it if it wasn't, but also my gut says that, you know, a lot of the time you, uh, you know, you, you, you sort of get used to it, whatever the, you know, you, you get sort of annoyed and then you kind of get used to it and you just kind of use it the way it did before. I do imagine there's sort of, you know, a, a certain degree of that may be true up until a point. And then at a certain point, people will get really fed up. And, and, you know, I think you can probably think of older sites where it just, they just got completely taken over by ads and at a certain point, you're like, all right, screw it. It's just not worth it. There's some, uh, there, there are a variety of Facebook pages that are local, regional, uh, online uh, uh, presences that, that do quite well. Do you think that we could see local or regional advertising spots, sort of like we see on local television on Facebook? I would imagine that has to be part of the goal. I think that, again, it's going to be a very slow rollout, so I don't think we're going to see it, you know, in the next few months. But, but again, I, I think that's certainly the plan for, you know, sometime in the next year or so. Well, Anthony, thank you so much for coming on to TN2 and talking through uh, what we can expect Facebook to look like in the very near future. Tell folks uh, where they can follow your work online. Uh, I write for TechCrunch.com, and you can follow me on Twitter at Anthony Ha. Excellent. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. Finally, does your Google search result look a little different today? If it doesn't, you should get your eyes checked. 18 years after it began as a search engine, yeah, it's been that long, Google is removing the last of its original design, underlined links. 
The company has also increased the size of result titles and evened out some of the line heights, which Google lead designer John Wiley says improves readability and creates an overall cleaner look. They're still underlined when you hover over them, but not by default. That's it for this edition of Tech News Tonight. Subscribe to the show at twit.tv slash TN2 and write us at TN2 at twit.tv. Our next newscast is tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern. I'm Sarah Lane. Thanks for watching. Bandwidth for Tech News Tonight is brought to you by Cashfly.com.